The crowning achievement came as the Prempe College robotics team clinched first place in the Unknown Mission Challenge, making it the fourth time they have won that category. The team's remarkable journey to success began long before they set foot on the global stage. Months of rigorous training, dedication and innovation resulted in the outstanding performance, earning accolades not only for themselves but also for the country. The headmaster of the school, Very Reverend Lewis Asari, recounted that it took lots of efforts to prepare the students for the global stage competition. We are giving holistic education and we wouldn't want our students to be brainy and yet uh, being, uh, what do you call it, limited in hand, uh, hands-on activities. So without even embarking on the STEM uh, education, we had a robotic club and that club has always been winning the world championship. I, last year we won and this year too we have. And so I am very happy and I'm also confident that we are not ending it here. It is very expensive. Um, embarking on such robotic activities. The equipment, everything are very expensive and so we will wish that people will come in. Um, corporate entities, the government, in fact the government is doing his part. I understand there is STEM innovation, yes, going on and it is very good. Most schools are into STEM innovation and we hope that we have already started, so we extend it to Prempe Kali too. The robotics team told the media that the win was not without challenges, but they were poised for the golden medal. Emmanuel Kweku of Pompepra is the team lead. For Prempe College, we went with two teams. Each team cat competed in two different categories. The first category was the UMC, which stands for the Unknown Machine Challenge. In that challenge, we are given two hours to perform a tax, but before we get to the competition grounds, the tax is completely unknown. So prior to the two hours, we are given the challenge to solve, then the time starts, then we are given, uh, we are supposed to build the robot and also program it under the two hours to solve the tax. The next category is known as the game category, but for that category, we are given the tax um, months earlier, where it's called the autonomous taxi challenge, where the robot is supposed to identify pedestrians which are represented by golf balls, and then send them to their various locations. Some of the pedestrians, their locations are unknown. So the robot will actually have to send some barcodes so that it will know where to send each pedestrian. We came first in the unknown machine challenge and second place in the game. We are actually very excited that by God's grace, we are able to compete with one of some of the brilliant minds and still come in first and second. By God. There were some challenges along the way. Some of the major challenges are with some of our senses. Sometimes they trip up a bit, so you have to actually make sure you calibrate them well so that they don't end up spoiling the run. From here, we hope to do even greater things for our country and for the world at large. As the Premper College robotics team returns home, they carry with them not only trophies, but also the pride and admiration of an entire nation. All right.